the annual Stars of Sandstone Festival garners attention from machine and military enthusiasts from around the world. This year, the festival is running from the 2nd till the 12th of April and takes place on the historically rich Sandstone Estate in the Free State. The Sandstone Trust also formed a joint venture with the South African Army School of Armour Museum in Bloemfontein, which led to the formation of the collection of South African military vehicles. Behind me is a convoy of military vehicles, which the public can hop on and experience a tour around the area, military style. The collection of military vehicles is aimed at educating the festival visitors on the significant role these vehicles played for the South African troops during the Second World War. Lieutenant Colonel, there's some serious toys here. And what made you guys decide to get involved? People from the outside want to get involved in, in, in heritage, especially heritage. That's why Sandstone did get onto the wagon with us for the heritage part. And they do all the renovations of most of the vehicles and keep them in the shape and the condition that they currently is. These toys look very impressive. What do we have here? The first one on my right hand side is a Sherman 105mm tank used in the Second World War. Um, South African forces used it during the North African campaign and when they went into Italy for the Second World War. And this one has got a now automatic diesel engine and it's quite nice and it's driving very smooth. The next one here is a Roycat armored car, a 76mm car. This is a Mark 1C. Uh, one of the older versions that was given to the museum. I see you've got a lot of tanks here, but in what situation would you use this armored car? Mobility is one of the best uh, characteristics of it, so you can send them far out. And I see we have a golden oldie over there. This is a T-34 Russian tank, used to during the Second World War also, and in a few African campaigns. Uh, one of the old workhorses, uh, one of the ones that we like the most at the Issa Alma Museum. It's used in the army to do re uh, aggressive reconnaissance. It's got very high uh, mobility, firepower and protection, and that is what they are used for in the, in the SNDF current. The show of thunder takes place on the open area at the Hookfontein station at the Sandstone Estate. The South African Armour Museum displays a number of fighting vehicles where visitors can not only see the vehicles, but hear the engine as well. I like the tanks because personally I was also in the army, so I could relate to some of these tanks. At first, uh, I didn't know exactly what to expect, and uh, yeah, no, it blew all my expectations. We're going now on the train ride, but the tanks was something very small, what I didn't expect. My favorite thing so far is definitely the tanks. We went to the beach, um, beach in Durban for a few weeks, and we came here, and I must say, it's really nice. Tanks were initially invented by the British during World War I. Even though the production of tanks was frowned upon during World War II, a thousand were being manufactured every month. There was also a notable spike in tank production during World War II. Absolutely incredible. There's nothing quite like looking to the past and see how far we've come. But for the best in vintage planes, military vehicles, old tractors, steam lorries, locomotives and also so much more, don't miss the Stars of Sandstone Festival. It's every day up until the 12th of April. It's happening at the Sandstone Estate in the Eastern Free State. So make sure you get down there. Very, very exciting indeed. But we'll bring you another little segment a little bit later on this morning.